So yeah, um, these are all the boxes and the stuff that I got. Computer case, the water cooling. Um, this my old, old computer basically. Oh, the case. Well, yeah, old computer as well. Cause old parts in it. You can see how untidy it is, how messy it is. It got so hot, I had to put extra fans in it. Pretty crazy, really. You see how dusty it is as well. <laughs> The motherboard's got a built-in overclock button, you probably just saw it. Put all of the stuff that you see, all the boxes, the case and stuff, all came from ebuyer.com. If you order before 11pm, you get them the next day, at 11am, 11 it's absolutely amazing. 650 watt power supply. The case got a back panel to it, so you can have the CPU back, easy access at the back of the CPU. It's quite handy. There's two water cooling um, holes at the top of that case. If you just saw them, they're quite handy. I like these red lines on the side of it. They make it stand out a lot more. Also, the front bit of the case um, at the bottom, the the fan, it actually lights up red as well. The power buttons and the reset switch, they work, they've got quite good clicking to them as well. So, got the standard USB ports at the front, headphone jack and microphone jack. Just drop the screws. Yeah, the case has got the standard seven spaces for PCI, so... Just attaching the uh, power supply to the actual case now, by using the screws supplied by them. They're standard screws, so you can practically use your old screws, but it's brand new, so I might as well use the new screws. I took the uh, both side panels off the case. So I can get access to the back of the case and, well, the side of the case and the inside of the case easily. So yeah, I've threaded all the cables through, through the actual case, through the little, like, the cable tidy bits basically for the case, as you can see, when you go behind the case, you can see where all the cables come out, so when you put the motherboard on, you can simply just put them back through another bit, and you can actually <laughs> just keep it really tidy, keep the air cooling really good, it's very, very handy. Also, the cables for this power supply are quite long, so they can reach around the, ho the whole case pretty easily as well. So I've got my old motherboard back in there. You can have, on that motherboard, you can have any type of um, graphics card together, so you can have a NVIDIA one and an ATI one together, which is <laughs> absolutely amazing due to the Lucid, the Lucid drivers, the Hydra X or something like that it's called. I don't use it, I just have a standard uh, GTS 250, runs every game pretty much at ultra setting so it's pretty handy I like this feature the um, I, I don't even know what it's called <laughs> screwless basically screwless design I put the water cooling in now it's Antec um, I didn't want to go out all fancy on a absolutely expensive water cooling system so I just bought this cheap end system it's about 60 quid but it's definitely worth it because <laughs> it's dropped my temperatures down from 60 degrees overclocked right down to about 30 degrees and it's still overclocked and in fact I've overclocked it more I've overclocked it to 5 gigahertz which is absolutely phenomenal for an AMD CPU you can see it's just got one fan but I'm going to attach another fan as you can see there so now it's 
it's pushing air through and sucking it through both sides so it's just going to have straight out the back to get more cooling efficiency the ram's got the heat sinks already on it so that's quite handy keep the ram nice and cool I tried to keep the cable as tight as possible there but <laughs> it's quite a nightmare with the long SATA cables so they don't flex as much this is a handy feature the hard drive you just click it unclick it and you click it back in it's absolutely genius it saves so much time unfiddling all the cables behind it so that's my case all done all modded up I put an extra extra couple of fans at the side, the blue ones as you can see, I put my own cooling unit in it, as you can see so you can tell like tell the temperatures of it how fast the fans are going and stuff so there's two fans there just to see how, see how cool it looks basically they also keep it cooler and they're very very quiet as well don't even notice they're on plus it's under my desk so I don't even notice it's on at all Got my GTS 250 there, plugged in, two screens. So yeah. Oh, I've got some um, UV lights in it as well, in the case, <laughs> just to make it bright. And this is my spec of the computer. You can see it's um, AMD Phenom 2x4 6950, uh, six, 965, yeah, <laughs> you're right. That's overclocked to 5GHz now. This is a speed fan, um, this tells me the temperature of it and the fan speeds of it and stuff. You can also do overclocking in this but I've never ever used it for overclocking, don't need to, it's all built into the motherboard now. So you can see, <laughs> there's some random temperature and it's 61 degrees celsius, I really didn't understand that. But the core temperature, about 35 degrees celsius, GPU, 42 degrees celsius, everything else, under 30 basically, within 30 range basically everything um, yeah but that's that's 61 temperature I had that last time and I think it's something to do with the North Bridge and um, South Bridge chip on the motherboard I think it's just a motherboard fault you can see the performance it's good so thanks thanks for watching the vid okay